There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys, is a bunch of bullshitter. Uh, welcome to the Sleepy Cabin Podcast, aka Sleepy Cast. Ooh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is uh, the Sleepy Cabin Podcast, uh, the first episode-ish. We have a uh, more valid podcast planned for the future, but this time around, we're just going to sit here and bullshit for like an hour and... Test the waters. Test the waters, as it was, as it were. That's already, right. Already fucking up here. Uh, it's... Tonight is me talking Stamper, uh, Johnny Utah, Jeff, and Psychic Faggot. Hello. Psychic, psychic Pebble. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Z- uh, Zach. A.K.A. Jewy Jewerson. Yes, yes, give me more. <laughs> okay. So, so last night we asked Corey. Yes, basket. What, said, how he would solve the crisis of Iraq. And uh, I said he. I said he could be any superhero he wanted, and he got greedy. He was that was unacceptable. He wanted to be two superheroes, put together. <laughs> two put together. So what was it? he wanted to be the Flash initially, the Flash and the Hulk. He wanted to be something before the Hulk. Something he wanted stupid. to be the girl. That know, yeah, he wanted to be uh, uh, Jubilee, whatever you said. Wasn't right? Jubilee? Yeah, it was the other girl. Miss, not Miss, not Mystique. Wait. Uh, the, the one that can walk through walls? No, no, the, no, one no. That the, the one with people. the gray hair. The one... Storm. No. Not, not, the one that's, like, dating Iceman. <laughs> Rogue. Rogue, yes. Oh, is it Rogue? Yeah, he wanted to be yeah, Rogue. Yeah, he wanted to be the Flash and Rogue. And I'm like, to why take out, Rogue? To take out Muslim extremists. Flash isn't an X Men. Oh, and, then, and then he changed it. Yeah. And then he changed it. So he would be the Hulk, and he would his solution to get rid of these extremists who would be heading children was to go to Iraq and pound the ground, and they'd come up from their holes. And he'd Dude, be the Flash and go from the sky. He hit the ground so hard they'd fly up in the air. Everybody, everybody. and then with Flash powers, he would run to them really fast and then punch them as the Hulk. But he didn't explain how he would. Where does I thought he said two superheroes? Where does the Hulk come in now? He changed it. He, he changed Changes it from. Yeah, he uh, changes it. He changes his answer. He could just be the Hulk. The Hulk jumps really high. And he can't be killed, pretty he, much. He's telling me in the car that the Hulk can only be killed by a black hole. I don't know if that's by a true. black hole. Yeah. That sounds like a lie. Yeah. I don't know though. Not he was big. telling me how much he hated the Hulk and Superman because they're so powerful. Oh, he's, because they're unfairly powerful. He said uh, Superman is stupid because he can only be killed by a supernova. No, he can't. I don't even know where these answers are coming from. I think that those both feel like a lie to me. <laughs> could, this, could someone just grab <laughs> him and drag him into a supernova? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where you're supposed to find a black hole. It's like, is that really what... He, he knows about kryptonite, right? You can walk up to Superman the with a pocket full space. of kryptonite and be like, he uh, just crumple. According yeah. to Corey, Superman cannot die by kryptonite. It just puts he him can. to sleep. It just puts him to sleep. Oh, it just knocks him to sleep. Makes him tired. It's like, it's yeah. like NyQuil for Superman. Yeah. <laughs> Rock, rocks and NyQuil. What's, what is... What's a supernova again? It's like when a star explodes. Yeah. Oh, so we'd all die. Y- y- yeah, no, yeah, he if said, we got he hit said, by a supernova, we'd all be fucking dead. He, he basically said, yeah, it has to blow up the Earth, too, and then it will kill, kill Superman. So the only way to kill Superman is by killing everybody on yes. Earth, everything on Earth. Yeah. Okay. But he flies around through space. If the Earth blew up, he would fly around I was around also asking, if he, if he went into the center of the sun, could he do that? Could he fly into the sun? Superman? Yeah. I don't know. And, I mean, he's he's pretty much human, right? It's not... I've seen him go into space before. Like, it's not like he's breathing up there or anything. No. Or maybe he is. He's not, he's not, he can't breathe. There's no oxygen. You never see the the impact that, that has. Like, can you suffocate Superman? Uh, you can't choke him with your, with your hands. No, I mean, suffocate <laughs> him. Like, just, like, like, tape his mouth and no, no shut. Do his, uh... No, because he opened his mouth and ripped the tape off. So why does he... Does he have lungs? Oh my God, could you just... <laughs> does he have lungs if he doesn't need air? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe his lungs run something different. <laughs> like super air particles? Yeah, super air. But maybe it's like self circulating Maybe it's like an internal system. He, he produces, he, pro- he talks, he's, he's, he produces sound through his mouth, so he's using air he definitely can't against talk his vocal space. cords. So maybe, he has them. He was born with... Maybe maybe his breath is, he can retain his <laughs> oxygen in his lungs for a long time. Somehow his internals run. Like he holds his breath when he goes into space. Oh, and he can only be up there for a minute. Yeah, he goes up for like five maybe. minutes and he, yeah, he's just turned blue. And, and he's, he's got, got like color. iron lungs, like, yeah. like oil drums that yeah. can't crumple in space. No, yeah, exactly. Wouldn't it ever be scary if he... I always thought when I was in space, if he flies too far away from Earth, you just get lost and you can't come back. 
What if you use a GPS? Oh, man. Good. What? You can't find it. There's no GPS that says no, no, no. Earth no. over there. No, but it's like, what if he's like a pigeon that has that in his head? You know what I mean? Like, he just knows where Earth is. What if he just wants to go to Mars and then he can't really. Well, then again, he has supervision. So yeah, how long does it take to get to Mars again with like our best like, tech, like 30 years or something? No, no to Mars, it's like a three months. Uh, two years, actually. I think I think the fastest craft we have now, the fastest propulsion would be like three months. I if think. you're going the speed. Like if you're going the fastest the speed consistently. It's like seven days. Right now, it takes like a year or two. Oh, because it's like 15 minutes to, um, or 15 years to Europa, right? Yeah, no, it's, That's yes. That's a hike. Yeah, well, we launched that spacecraft in like 2000, we launched the spacecraft in like 2005, and it's supposed to get to Pluto like next year. That's fucking amazing. They actually know how to get there. Yeah, it, yeah. And probably get back. And they scientists could. are like, oh, it's a really simple theory. You just boomeranging around a couple of planets and then throw you, it back you towards fuck up once, you fly to like... Saturn break up. You should pay attention to math class. You know, my teachers would always say like, well, you can only send the spacecraft out so far because the, sig- the signal stops. I said, why don't you say like five and they, you know, and there's like one right here, one right Yeah, the chain of, chain of spacecraft. Oh, so they communicate with each other? Yeah, so the, the last one, guy. yeah, the one way out there communicates Well, with aren't you other. smart? Yeah, why don't you reach in your back pocket and give NASA the $90 billion <laughs> that's going to require? <laughs> Well, somebody said, no, I could do it. Well, somebody, it's somebody like, piggy It's like, I know, it's like, instead of sending one billion dollar ship, let's send five. Well, then you could get, you could get signals out, and then you could see empty space. Man, the public wouldn't like that if NASA got up and they were like, okay, guys, okay, hear us out, because this is going to sound a little lofty now. But sell everything you have so we can... Put five spacecraft in space. What if the what if they were really spoiled like children and everyone was like no? And then NASA was like, Do you wanna go to space or not? Do you wanna explore bring to go right now or never? Zach, would you would you prefer to have a cyanide? Would you go up to space with a cyanide capsule? Yeah. Well, just in case something went wrong and I had to kill myself yeah. so I could maybe I don't know, it'd be kinda cool to die in space. I don't think anyone has yet. But if you went up into space with Corey, but there was only but Corey like lost his and then he's asking for yours is it I, I fucking opened the thing and push him out <laughs> is it two questions is it true that no one's died in space yet as movies I'm just like sure. tainted my mind I'm well, pretty sure no one's died in space there was a Russian astronaut who was like whose suit fucking inflated too big and he was freaking out because he couldn't get back in the door are you talking about like poetically dying in space like sitting on the surface of the moon crying were, or like exploding no. No, I don't think anyone's died a Russian on, burnt, sort of burnt up on the way back down yeah no one's died in space though people have died I think people have like uh, Columbia and uh, what was the other big one? Uh, uh, Challenger? Or Challenger and Columbia. Yeah, they yeah. both fucking burnt up in the atmosphere. I always keep forgetting about Columbia. Challenger didn't get too high. I don't know what that happened. There was hard. fucking like pieces raining down on Texas and people were fighting like heads and shit. How many yeah. people died in there? Probably a dozen. I think the Challenger one was worse because there was... No, like that one was 27 or something. It was big. Way more people were watching that one because there was a teacher. Yeah, yeah there was a TV school event. teacher in there. Yeah. Oh, and second, isn't there an easier way to do... To like... Suicide than cyanide? Doesn't it fucking like? Yeah, like uh, bullets like, in the brain would be a little bit faster. <laughs> it, a dirty you don't, you don't want to sick. sit there choking with like a foam pouring out of your mouth. No, I'm pretty like, sure you yeah, have. Right, it's a fat bullet in your brain would do it not, a lot faster. That's, that's not a very dignified way to go. The rumor like, is <laughs> that Hitler did both. He took the pill and then just for safe measure blew his head off. Well, he's a smart man. Yeah. But what, do you, what, do you, what do you think the most suicide you could do at once would be? Like hang yourself and shoot yourself and take a cyanide pill and fall off a building? I think about that way too much. But no, it's... <laughs> How many suicides at once just to make sure you could... I, I heard that cyanide is fucking horrible. Like, well, it it's fucking a, burns you, like your insides, right? Yeah, you swallow that shit and it's like the one of the worst ways to go. Apparently pretty foolproof. So, don't think... Yeah, I guess it's pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can get your stomach pumped from that. Look, if we got shit at vets that could, that could ease puppies... And oh, sleep, people, well, they do. Have you seen, have you seen those videos? Videos of people like Sweden who drink this shitty water, eat chocolate, and fall asleep and die. They listen to like Beethoven or whatever. No. They eat chocolate? What are you talking about? There's these people, there's like these dead doctors, and people are like, this, people decide to die. Like if they have cancer or something, and they go to this place, the doctors like drink this dirty water, and they drink it, and then to get the taste out of it, they're allowed to eat chocolate, and they just fall asleep. And they poetically listen to whatever music and watch, you know, say the goodbyes. Mean, it seems like it seems like overdosing on like sleeping pills seems. But no, that never. It's like it's a really low, low number of people who die from that. Like only teenagers dramatically go and drink all the Advil. You know what I mean? They're not trying to kill themselves. They're trying to kill themselves. This is a weird. T- this is like 
Is this an appropriate topic? We're just like giving ki- we're giving people kids. Ideas. If you want to kill yourself, <laughs> put your head up front of a train track when yeah. the train comes. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah just no, a lay train. Your head that'll up. fucking you, yeah. You, you're not gonna wake up with your dad crying over your body then. Train is pretty foolproof. Yeah, you, you lay lay. Drunk guys do it all the time. Lay <laughs> lay on the train tracks <laughs> with your head on firmly on the thing. You see what it does to a penny when you put it there? Yeah. You end up on some yeah. shitty website when some asshole takes an iPhone picture of your dead body and, and voila, it's done. Yeah, I'm not. Sure shooting myself in space because knowing my luck I'll be one of those retards where the bullet passes through my yeah. head and then I'm just a fucking walking mess with just, half my head gone. And you're too afraid to do it again because if you fuck up twice. I think you should definitely lie your neck on the track. Don't jump in front of the train because then body parts fly. Yeah, no, your then you're, yeah, they like you your, hand, like your hand will hit somebody in the head. <laughs> yeah, just lay your neck on the rail. Lay your neck firmly yeah. if you're listening. And then it's like, boop, problem's Pops over. You don't, you don't want to horrify all these innocent people with yeah, you always you always gotta worry about who's gonna find you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and it, I guess the best thing would be like being incinerated. You just get on a bus and like go to Kentucky or something and do it there. And then by yeah. the time your family sees you, some other poor guy that's completely unrelated to your family has already I picked that, you up. I think a good solution is in Japan they have like a suicide forest. They just kind of oh yeah, the suicide park, forest. A, a, yeah, it's like a park. They just that'd park. be a good place for if you're a killer to go there and kill people before they kill themselves. Yeah, we talked about that. Maybe maybe they'd be more lenient on you. You know what I mean? Like you go there and just go and kill myself. It's like no, I'm gonna kill yeah, you. Yeah, I don't think they invest. To get people out there, they just sort of just kind of go out there and hang yourself. And I would never <laughs> jump off a bridge, though. It's fucking whatever. It's artistic, never, but come never, on, it's not artistic. I never people, people like to do the the dramatic. You're, you're essentially you're essentially jumping onto concrete almost. Yeah, but the there are people who survived. They said the second they fucking fell off, they regretted it. Like they were like, oh, it's not a very foolproof way of going. Jumping off the bridge. Because if you do, because if you hit the water, let's say, worst case scenario, you break all your bones and just drown to death. Yeah, you have a lot like, of time to think about what you just did wrong. Especially as you fall. Yeah. What I, what I, I told you guys about my, my Rube Goldberg machine. I want to I wanna put a canvas on a wall. Oh, blow your head off. Yeah, blow my head off against the canvas. And then somehow like have a string attached to the gun so when it falls from my hand it somehow does this whole thing where like it mechanically like signs my name on the canvas and then like dumps my body in the dumpster out back or something you know be really shitty is if you fucked up somehow like if it didn't if you got like a little blood droplet on the canvas yeah that's 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 a big fear like what if the your brain your head stopped the bullet and the, it never passed yeah through? a lot of people then you just look like a jackass everyone overestimates <laughs> everyone overestimates how, how much brains fucking kill out of the back of your head but. yeah I don't want my I don't want my skull Fragments like tearing into the uh, paper, canvas. fucking it up. You yeah. know, you uh, what's his name? Do you remember that one guy that shot himself on TV? The uh, oh, Bud the wire. wire. Yeah, you remember when he like he just put it in his head and he he blew the like. The Whatever. Top, yeah. But the amount of blood that poured out of his mouth <laughs> yeah. and nose, if you put the canvas on the ground... Yeah, you know what? Just hang yourself like this, and when you do it, it'll just go <laughs> all over the ground. You kind of forget. I, when I was a kid, I'd always imagine, like, your body is just filled, like, any, like, just... If you, you you cut somebody open and blood will pour out, but it's really like in a, yeah, it's like blood is in a very people got upset with me in, in, cir- the, in the circulation system. It's like it's very contained actually. Oh yeah, you really have to like break that seal, and then it just comes fucking pouring out. People overestimate how bad it is. People got mad yeah. at me in my clown video because they're like, why is the fucking hole in the lady's head? Like it's like it's like a little <laughs> dot at the entrance wound. Yeah, it's also a clown video. <laughs> yeah, it's a clown video. You're, but, you're, you're I'm so not adamant that like the bullet hole is realistic in this fucking crazy clown video. Yeah. Yeah, realistically, a bullet hole in someone's forehead would probably it'd be really small. It'd be really gross, and at the at the entrance point, all the bone around it would be shattered. So it'd yeah, be like the soft spot the, on the baby's head that you push for fun. What do you think would happen if you shot a baby in the head? Would it be different? If you shot a baby in the head, this little thing would probably just explode everywhere. You think the baby's head would explode? I don't know. Let's try. Let's go find a baby and just shoot it, it in the face. It probably wouldn't crack. It'd just be like no. It'd be, it'd be like it'd be like, <laughs> like 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 a little peach or something. Yeah, it'd be like <laughs> shooting it. Jello mold, it yeah. like going was like, <laughs> bloop, bloop. <laughs> it's like a little piece might fly out the back, but it'd be it would like it would like undulate and be like, bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> and just go back to normal. Like a waterbed, it would like reseal itself, and the parents would be like, "What happened?" <laughs> it reseal itself, <laughs> yeah. just land there turning purple, and they don't know what ha- what killed it. This is this has got dark fast. I know. You're talking about space like five minutes ago. You're talking about. <laughs> Fucking Superman. Superman. Yeah, the, yeah. Superman, shooting baby's head and having it reformed. <laughs> the horrified parents find it. 
Jeff, would you kill a baby? What would push you to kill a baby, Jeff? Oh, Jesus. If it, did, if it didn't, shut the fuck up. Would you kill a baby, Stamper? God, no, Zach. That's a I'm cruel... Really, I'm really trying to think of a reason. There's got to be some reason out there. What, what, if a, what if a guy handed you a baby and said, kill this baby? Or I'm going to kill your whole family. Or I'm going to kill you, Jeff. I'd, I'd just be he like... Said, he said, <laughs> fucking strangle the life out of it. Look at its eyes. You have to look deep in its soul when you kill it. If, if I had to choose between myself and a baby, I think I could just... Put your head over its face? His yeah. little tiny head? Yeah. <laughs> what if it said Dada and you figured it out, Jeff? What if it called you Daddy? Then I'd be like, why am I holding a doll from the 80s? <laughs> a creepy, cliche 80s character. <laughs> Dada. Actually, none of those dolls ever said Dada. What did they say? They said Mama. Feed me. Oh, yeah. I'd call it Light a... me. And they pissed their little, little fake, fake piss. pee out and go, uh-oh. What a pointless fucking... Doll. Have you ever? Did you ever own a Cabbage Patch Kid? No, I owned the Troll Dolls though. I did. I owned a Cabbage Patch p- Kid. I think. Yeah. I think he got it out of a fucking like a um either just, either just like you know like when you're a kid and then you have like a cousin that just has a box of fucking toys or something and you somehow yeah. end up with a lot of toys that aren't yours. Yeah. Yeah, I had one of those creepy fucking things. Cabbage Patch Kids are nothing more than like. Uh, garbage pail kids without the <laughs> trash all over them. That's essentially what they are. I think they came. I think the gar- yeah, except the garbage pail kids came second. Yeah. So, so the garbage pail kids are just, just trash kids with dirt all over them. Yeah. I just mean like the. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The just the creepy factor. Cabbage what, patch what, kids. What are was the creepy. worst trend either of you were ever a part of? Like, what was the worst fad that you're ashamed of that you bought into? Jesus, oh, I wouldn't say that I, any of that I was ashamed of. Popples. What the fuck? Oh is yeah, <laughs> it's a popple. I didn't mind popples though. Popples were cool. They were just like they were. They were almost like the the, the Pokemon back in the day, where they except you could fold them inside out and they turn into balls. They're actually pretty cool. Actually, you should bring those. Back. <laughs> so yeah, so you have this like uh, stuffed ball, and it looks exactly like a soccer ball. It's yeah. got a seam on the side of it, and if you, you pull it apart, it and fold it outwards, like flip it inside out, it's like a creature. <laughs> <laughs> Are they all circular shape though? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think they were just like different ball shapes. There's, I think there's like a football one and stuff like that. I mean, they, they pretty cool actually. Yeah, it, they, they it was a smart normal. idea. Yeah, when you unfold them. I never liked Teddy Rex- Ruxpin though. That's that thing creeped me out. If you think about it, Popples were a really good idea. It's like a yeah. unisex toy. It's like it's like it, a Transformer almost, where it's like it's two different. Uh... Yes, that is actually a really good idea. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Teddy Ruxpin. I remember that. Teddy Ruxpin. That was the one where you could put, like, the tape in the back of it, right? And he would read you stories and shit. He'd definitely talk. I can't remember what he'd say. There used to be a teddy bear that had, like, a tape deck built into the back of it. And I then do remember. That. Yeah, you could buy different tapes. Yeah, and then it'd be, like... Yeah. It would read to you, basically? A, uh, yeah. <laughs> Was it like, a, did, like the vo- did the voice match the teddy bear? Like fairy tales and shit. No, I think you just like it was like a glorified tape player. But yeah, you had okay. to, you bought the tape. The tapes were pre-recorded. And it would yeah. just read you a bedtime story about. Yeah, you know, it's like a little arms and I think it's like <laughs> his mouth might would, like move up and down as the tape plays. You know, is that kind of creepy to imagine that yeah. like the parents are in the living room and the kid is in the bedroom with like a mechanical bear that's reading him Talking. stories? Yeah, it's kind of like hollow and sad when you think about it. Have you ever heard that? Stupid uh, story of it's one of those horror stories of you know the hook on that it's one of those where it's like this and then guy, the killer was in the house yeah but it's, it's like this guy gives a little stuffed teddy bear to a kid and puts a radio inside of it and talks to the kid and the kid's like the teddy bear said I should touch my vagina mommy and the mom gets creeped out and the guy tries to capture the kid right because that's her son that's why she's creeped out yeah okay. <laughs> Zach, did you have a Tickle Me Elmo? I don't, I think I, no, I don't think I did. What, what was that big? Oh, shit. It was like a decade ago. Yeah, maybe a decade ago. Am I? No, I don't think I did. I think... It was like mid... What? Mid mid to late 90s, maybe? That's probably a little bit before my time, if not right at my time. What was the gayest toy you had? The thing I was into was, was Woody... I used to have this, I had this obsession where I, it was a really weird obsession because like Woody. it was a little bit serial killerish because I would always get these Woody toys and cut them to pieces. Yeah. Because I like to see how they worked. Yeah. And I, my parents would always buy me a Woody doll, like a Woody, like a wooden doll or like an action figure or a, or a stuffed toy. They cut it in pieces. You were literally that asshole kid in Toy Story. No, but I, I, I wasn't though because I didn't. Oh, know fucking people's. Sid! Yeah, yeah I wasn't yeah. Sid. You kind of looked like him too. I wasn't Sid. <laughs> I wanted to see yeah, how that worked. Yeah, but he took like baby heads and put them on like constructs like. And... <laughs> but I did though. I, I was I wasn't that creative. I just cut it pieces. I you know laughed and. 
<laughs> and then uh, I got my parents to buy me new, but then I cry. You're they, exactly like the kid from yeah, Toy yeah. Story. He would do that with and laugh, minus the creativity that came with I, it. I have to, I have to the toy stepper. Yeah. But my daddy, guess what I really am. Who? I've been hiding this for years. I thought you said about my daddy, you said about my identity. Yeah. Okay. Enunciate. Are yeah, you buzz? You said? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, oh. I tricked you for a second though, you thought it was this I said. Do you know what I did as a kid? I would Did you kill animals, Jeff, would, and no. put their heads on sticks? Just just insects. I would have insect wars. I would I would Did hit. you did you ever get upset after you killed an insect? Did you feel bad about it? Only when I pitted them against each other I'd throw in like twenty ants and one huge spider into a Tupperware <laughs> container, and I'd watch them fight. <laughs> it's not really a fight, though. It's I, more of like that's like watching the, the the Europeans fight the Indians. I thought it was kind of cool. Fight. I thought the spider might have a chance, but he never. The he, the ants always. Oh, the ants won. The ants were always the what biggest is it, dickheads. Yeah. What yeah. is a spider gonna do? He's just I don't gonna, know. Yeah, he really couldn't step do anything. on him with his hands. Yeah, you yeah. think because he's bigger, he's like a big. What do you step on him with his hands? <laughs> he's, you're looking at this like a Godzilla it's, movie, like the scale is. Like little people, yeah, and he's a yeah, giant yeah, monster. It's like a bunch of Africans with machetes versus like an elephant or something. It's like he just doesn't. Well, I guess have that's a true if you put it that way. Yeah. Yeah, there's really nothing it could that's do. That's actually painfully accurate. <laughs> <laughs> what? A, oh, so yeah, I didn't. I don't remember having any embarrassing toys when I was a kid. Oh, yeah, back to that. I had, I had sweet toys. I had G.I. Joes. I had Ninja Turtles. I had. I had G.I. Joes. I had, uh. I had like a big box of GI Joes and like you know that little rubber band that holds the legs and the top, the torsos together. You broke it. Some every now and again, like if you twist them, like the rubber bands they pop. So those were like my dead soldiers, and I oh like, have to be fucked up on the battlefield. Yeah, but if yeah. you were careful, you could actually swap the legs on uh, GI Joes if you wanted. There's oh, a yeah. little hook holding them together in the middle. Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. some of my GI Joes just had a hook in the middle there. Yeah. Did you ever take different toys from different franchises and have them interact with each other? Like, did you ever have the Ninja Turtles talk to GI Joe? Most of my them? toys were He-Man, GI Joe, and I had, like, a Voltron. I had the entire set of the Pirates of Dark Water action figures, too, and nobody even remembers that fucking show. I remember show. that show. Harry loves that show because it's, like, the last, like, high-quality animation Saturday morning cartoon, and then they just went to shit after that. Like Animaniacs. Yeah. Horrible shitty animation. Yeah, I don't know. That's a... You shouldn't bust on Animaniacs. I was people... joking. I said horrible shitty animation. It's really well animated. People love that show. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just thinking about the weirdest G.I. Joe I had, which was Sergeant Slaughter. I never really understood why he was a G.I. Joe. He was just a wrestler that somehow made his way into G.I. Joe. Yeah, it's a really loose ex- acceptance for, for that military service. The letting wrestlers in to hold guns and be on the battlefield. Yeah, like, he was, all of a sudden he was a real character in the G.I. Joe. Like, no other wrestler was there. And that was his name in the, as a wrestler? Was yeah. That? Yeah, Sergeant Slaughter. Do you think they put him in just because his name was Sergeant? Sergeant? Maybe because he was a sergeant. <laughs> he, was a, he was confirmed. Yeah, I don't know. I never really understood that. Did Maybe he have... was in the military first, then became a wrestler, Maybe. then went back to the military. Did you ever have any toys that you thought were, like, inappropriate or that you you thought were just weird and shouldn't be toys. Like my friend, I remember this very clearly. My friend had a bathtub toy he would play with. That was the Titanic that would fucking break in half. <laughs> I just think it's so weird that like seventy or eighty years before yeah. it was like a horrible. You didn't have nine eleven toys. It's a toys? bathtub toy, so you float it around your bathtub and you and crash you it in half. But you know what I'm saying? You think like that, that, that's like having like a Twin Towers toy that you, you fucking snap in half and crumble. <laughs> it's just so weird. The Twin Towers Lego set. Yeah, nah, knock it down. Yeah. yeah, like they say, time makes things like less offensive. Like, hey, have you seen the Titanic slide? Is this is a, this is real? Yeah, it's is a, it like a like a like a like a inflatable slide. Yes, the Titanic. Yes, it's like the boat is. It's like half sunk. <laughs> and there's a slide you can take from like the top all the way down to. The, do you think if time travelers came here, they think we were just big assholes from like 1913? And the funniest thing was, this was not really funny, <laughs> but the, the first time I saw the Titanic slide, it was like right after 9-11. It was like, it's, it was like the same, exactly. almost the same level of tragedy. And here, kids are riding it like a fucking, having a fun time. Do you think people have September 11th slides in 50 years where you can slide out of the windows like where the jumpers? Maybe, not, I don't know, me. <laughs> I guess they have to figure out a way to make two buildings into a ride somehow. You could have little kids dressed up as cute little terrorists or businessmen. It could just be like a trampoline that you jump on top of, and it, with every jump, it, it crunches a little bit. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. But no, it's not. It's a horrible idea. Let's pet that. Let's pet that. 
Yeah, I don't know what kids are going to think in 50 years. Is yeah. there anybody alive from the Titanic anymore? No, I think the last person died a couple years ago, and she was just a little baby. Because think about it this way, right? It happened in 1911. What do you mean she was a little baby? She was a little baby on the Titanic, and they pushed her on the water, and she floated to... Oh, uh, my time frames are messed up. As far as I know, it's, that happened uh, not too long ago. 70s, 60s? But I'm thinking of the movie, so... The movie came out in the 90s. But even then, the lady was old as fuck in that. Remember? The, the main lady mm. was really old. But that happened in 1911. So figure so say you're 20 years old. That's a pretty good age. Oh, 1911, really? So say so say you're 20 years old. You were born in 18... Or sorry, 18. Here we go. 18... Let's see. 1901. 1891, right? 1891, right? Why are you asking me math problems? I'm the worst person in the world when it comes <clears> to Jeff, yeah, what's, yeah. what's 1911 minus 20? It's 1891, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so at the average lifespan, so. I think 60 or 70. And you born in 19... Or 18 I really hope so. Yeah, yeah, like 1961. So most people died in the 60s who were part like of the now. Titanic. 60s, 70s, 80s at late, at the latest. That's why that lady's so old in the movie from the 90s. She's what? like 102 years old. What would you have done on the Titanic? Died? <laughs> Any tragedy I'd be a part of, like if there's a zombie apocalypse, would, people like to believe it. Would you it have tried to take a no. kid's spot? Yeah, I would have pushed the lady out and got it. Pushed push that old lady out. <laughs> my jewel! Yeah, I'll be in the movie instead of her. I'll be some old man. You'll be the asshole that's floating <laughs> on a board all by himself, eating the kids. Oh, I would eat the kids the first second I got out of the thing. I would wait. Yeah, everyone in a fucking... Every time there's a fucking, like, thought of a zombie apocalypse, everyone's like, I'd survive. I'd go to, I'd go to Walmart and lock the... It's like, no, you'd fucking walk outside and die. You'd be the first person to die. They'd be like, I'd, I'll just be I... sitting on top of my garage just shooting Shoot zombies. Shooting them, hitting them. It's like, have you, been, have you ever shot a, shot a uh, weapon before? A target? Like, from five feet away? Uh, Call of Duty. I can imagine you, both you and Chris, pushing women into the water to take their spot. I would. Dude, I have Stamper a coward. Would, I will push everybody out. Stamper would head to, like, the, the captain's cabin and just sit there with a beer. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I'd probably, I'd be, like, I'd be fashioning my own boat on the other side of the ship out of, like, junk or something. You know, like I, anybody, I, I have no, my moral <laughs> goes away if I'm in danger. Everyone gets out. We're talking about this, too. What, what situation would you be in? Yeah. Like, if, if you were a Wawa stamper and there's some asshole with the gun came in, would you be the guy, would you be the brave guy who jumps in front of people and saves people's lives? I, I would get the fuck out. I'm not going to save anybody. I'm not going to be a hero. I think we've been over this. I, I really don't see any scenario where I'm diving... In front of anybody. Th- I would either hide from the dude or I'd try to take him out. I'm not going to, like... Yeah, Take but my, bullet, my point though. is, like, you see these videos of guys, like, on live, like, running in, like, get shot in the face, and they're yeah. like, oh, give me the money still. It'd be super hard to tackle somebody with a gun. I'd take a bullet from my sister. I would. I'd, for you, though? Fuck no, man. <laughs> I'd take a, I'd take a bullet for you. Why the fuck do you think it'd, it'd be the other way around? I don't, because you're I, a nice guy. It hurts. I'm not going to take a bullet for anybody, dude. I don't even take a bullet for myself. <laughs> well, that's, if a dude came into Wawa if, with a pistol, I would be like, take what you need, man. Because he's clearly, he's not there for me. He wants money. What if, I, he, what if he, he sees, like, takes I would be on his side so fast, I would be like, listen, cashier, open that shit up. Give him the money right now so what if, can get What if he's like, here. listen, cashier. Here, you were too slow and he blows your head off. I'd be like, wow, that was unnecessary, bro. And he takes a lady by the hair and he's like, what's your name? Stamper? Tell me a reason why I should let this lady live. Why I shouldn't fucking paint the wall with her brains. What is this, a Wesley Snipes? Yeah, right this now? guy's a maniac. He wants power. <laughs> Stamper, give me a reason why I should, shouldn't kill this old lady. Uh, Please, Stamper. <laughs> My husband is waiting for me at home with eggs. Uh, uh, wh- why eggs? Stamper, please. I'd be like, listen, old lady. Bam! You lived a full life. She's dead, Stamper. <laughs> you killed her. I didn't kill her. It was him. You killed her. I'm so he gives you the gun and he I runs could, away. I would still sleep like a baby because I didn't do shit. <laughs> I would get my sandwich and I would go home. All right, he gives you a gun in your hands and makes you point it at the old lady. <laughs> he, he has I, multiple guns or he, he gives me he gives, his he only gives you gun? He puts a shotgun to the back of your head and says, all right, shoot the old lady or you So he die. gives me a gun and then walks around back, pulls out a shotgun. Yeah, he says, shoot, shoot the old lady or you're fucking dead, Stamper. I'd be, I'd be like, old lady, how old are you? And she'd be like, 84 this Saturday. I'd be like, bang. I'd be, he clicks, there's no bullets. He's like, you would have shot an old lady. You're a fucking asshole, dude. He leaves. The end. Oh, that, yeah, I'd feel pretty bad. <laughs> She's like, you should be ashamed of yourself. You tried to shoot me in the face. What about you, Jeff? What would you do in the situation? Would you shoot an old lady in the face? I would uh, punch Zach in the mouth for asking stupid questions. Yeah. This is going to happen. This is Zach's just mad because the old lady at Wawa isn't nice to him. <laughs> is that really where all this comes from? Yeah, it's all this pent up sexual fantasy. She's nice fantasy. to me. Zach's like, why? It's like, I say hi to her. She just I say hi to her. Oh, you're talking about uh, Linda. Is that, is that her I name? always say hi, Linda. She goes, eh. 
It's like, eh. She the, pukes in her mouth whenever she sees me. The white, the one with the white hair. The old white yeah, bitch. Yeah, she's like really old. Yeah, I see people come in and talk to her all the time, and then. Yeah. Do you get it too, though, right? No, I think she liked me at first, but then I slipped up and I said something. <laughs> what did she say? I said, because everyone's like, hey, Linda. She's like, just a paper today? And it's like, yeah, whatever. And then I went up, and I was like half drunk, and I think she knew <laughs> that I was, that I used to smoke cigarettes. You know, put my water down or whatever I had. And she was like, is that it? And I was like, I'm good for now, baby. And her <laughs> face, her face just went dead. Like, she did not appreciate me calling her baby. Maybe she doesn't like me because she knows uh, I'm associated with you. How, do, how, do you, how does an already pale person get even paler somehow? She, was, she wasn't, like, horrified. She, she got mad. Like, she was... Somebody's yeah, grandmother. Really, it's weird. Like, there's like a there's a guy in front of me, a guy behind me. She, she hasn't been called baby since like 1913. Yeah, maybe that's why I did it to make her feel special about herself Sexy. for once in her sad, yeah, almost yeah. over life. Do you also think we were talking about this too? Do you think these people work at these places like McDonald's and Wawa, and they're because like they're retired and they want to do it just because? Me and Jeff used to talk about this. There's a dude that used to work at the other Wawa. Oh, for people that don't know, Wawa is a convenience store. It's like 7-Eleven but better. Anyways, there's a dude that used to work at the other Wawa, and we. S- I swear, like, we used we used to come up with, like, scenarios for what this guy did in his everyday because he took so much pride in his work, and he was, like, maybe 40. We thought that he was, like, a, a, an engineer or something, like an architect. So I would say, yeah. so you think it's like a, like an American Beauty thing where he just works at the fast food place just because he's bored. In this case, I think he was probably fired from his, like, right? his aerospace job. And well, he, you think he was fired and he just got this job because he let the else do. Or maybe he just needed money. <clears throat> but he took, like, the same amount of precision and care and fucking mopping the floor then it looks like he would at fucking NASA or something yeah he was a really interesting guy what about people who are like 70 years old or 60 or 70 do you, do you think they're working there because they're retired they got bored or that they actually need to work well you need to pur- live you need purpose in life or you can that's fucking true. die that's probably why Linda's there right now giving me this shit stare we, we are our, our other favorite employees is that that beautiful black man with the dreadlocks he looked like DJ from Street Fighter or oh something. yeah he was like yeah he had like this big lion's mane of dreadlocks and he was like the most beautiful black man <laughs> on the face of the planet. He was so fucking handsome. But he didn't look like he was enjoying his job. It looked like he wanted... There was definitely something in his life he wanted to do that not not work at Wawa. He wanted to be a supermodel, and yeah. I would have supported that, I yeah. guess. Well, he actually, I don't... No, no, he no. didn't. <laughs> he needs to be, though. Every time he I'd, looked at me, I got bashful. I'd feel bad. Every time I asked him to make me, like my turkey sandwich, he'd just be grumbling back there. I'm like, I'm sorry you're not on the cover of like Vogue magazine. Can you just... <laughs> Make my sandwich. Thank you. Jeff, where do you stand? Where do you stand, Samper? On what? On the amount of cream cheese. On the cream cheese debacle. Oh, not this again. Not the cream cheese again. The cream cheese scandal. Cream cheese gate. Should we just go over this again? Zach specifically asked for extra, extra, extra cream cheese. And they gave him extra, extra, extra cream cheese. Here's what really happened. And then he scraped it all off and he got really mad. That's a lie version. That's that's the truth. I asked for a regular amount of cream cheese and they gave you a fucking, something that would, an an ant would say this isn't enough. You... Okay, first of all, nobody orders a, a bagel and says, remember, I just want a regular amount of cream. No, people There's do that. There's a button that says little cream cheese, a cream cheese, and a lot of cream cheese. I click regular cream cheese, and it gives me a fucking a penny's worth for a whole bagel. So you did ask for extra cream cheese. Just I, asked for, sure. I asked for it because, right, for, for weeks in a row, I asked for regular, give me a fucking this much, something a mouse would eat and starve. And then, and then, and then I ordered, so I said, okay, well, if I overcompensate, they'll give me the right amount. And I ordered a way much, and they give me way... So my plant backfired. So you're you're mad that the plant actually it worked. Everything worked correctly. Well, it didn't work. It didn't work. I you was upset that gaming, they actually did their job right the for once. the system, and you got what yes. you deserved. I was upset that they did their job right for once in their lives. <laughs> they finally did something worth. That was a lot of fucking cream cheese. It was a lot. I scraped off like two cream inches on your desk. Some people love that much cream cheese, though. I, th- I think like a quarter of, the ch- of a solid layer is pretty good. Didn't James do that once? Uh, you know what's bullshit? Cream oh, cheese. Cre- did he do that? Yeah. I only watched a couple of those. Yeah. What was it about? What was the gist of it? That he's like when you when you go to Dunkin' Donuts and like they put way too much cream cheese and he's like, who's all this fucking cream cheese for? When you squeeze it together, it's like seagull shit coming out of the hole. See, I, I don't mind that though. I, I'd rather have too much than too little because with too much you can scrape it off. Yeah. I have a question. It's the same price. You should just get extra, extra every time, yeah. right? Scrape half of <clears> it off into a tub in your fridge and in a week you'll have a free tub of cream cheese. Bam. 
free idea. What? What's your question? <laughs> I was just no. Just I was just thinking actually that uh, Wawa and Dunkin' Donuts are actually in pretty close proximity to each other, but. Who the hell is going to Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast when it seems like Wawa would be better anyway? Well, they have, they have more choices, too. Do they? It sounds like an advertisement now. Yeah, they Dunkin have more choices. Donuts. They're better. They're cheaper. They're cleaner. They have more donuts. Well, actually, oh, yeah, they do not. more donuts. Well, yeah, because they're Dunkin' Donuts. Wait, I think I'm saying Wawa has better options. Oh. I'm saying you can go to Wawa and get a fucking... You can get anything. Dunkin' Donuts, you get a Dunkin' and a Donut. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, every oh, morning I see... What the hell's a Dunkin'? <laughs> every a Dunkin morning I see Dunkin' Donuts, Donuts, Donuts parking lot filled with people getting, like, their one of two breakfast sandwiches when Wawa's right down the street. Most people are Dunkin' Donuts for the <clears> coffee. <throat> I used to get Dunkin' Donuts breakfast sandwiches all the time, and then they changed their eggs around. Now they have this gross, floppy, white egg thing. Oh, instead of yellow eggs? Instead of, like, that scrambled thing that they used to put in there, and it's fucking gross and hard to eat now. How do you put cheese, egg, and sausage on a sandwich and it's still bland? It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. It's it's pretty. It's pretty basic. It should taste good. Yeah. Those things together. Once they stop doing, like me and Corey would get one almost every morning, and then when they changed it, we both stopped going for breakfast. The last time I had one was like four days ago here, and Jeff was watching me choke it down with a frown on my face. I I, I had the turkey. If you had, the, it's like a turkey and like melted cheese. That was all right. I had that. That was pretty good. Yeah, the Cut it out, Zach. You're making me hungry. I'll be right back. Okay. Zach. Yes, Jeff? Who would win? I would. <laughs> I would. Question I over. I'm just trying to have fun here. You're okay. Not, it's not fun. Who would win, know. Jeff? Hitler? Yeah. Or the Incredible Hulk? Well. Yes. Is is Hitler infused? It's just regular is, Hitler. Wait. Oh, he's not infused. Why is everything he's not Hitler with you? Gamma rays. It's Hitler with his little cute yeah, mustache, his little Hitler? outfit. Why? He killed a lot of Jews. Do you who think, else took? Who else to take do on you the think Hulk? The Nazis could have created the Hulk. Uh, so they tried. They, they, they tried to create. They tried to create ape people. Did you hear about this? Ape people. Yeah, they tried to fuse. They tried to get apes to get birth to people. and tried to fuse them together. That's I'm not. I'm honor. not making I mean, a joke about this. It's an interesting experiment. I, I, there's I would have like, tried it. If you go on YouTube, I guarantee you'll find <laughs> it. There's some cheesy History Channel documentary, and it has like sh terrible CG apes like marching down in the thing yeah. in Nazi uniforms. It's really fucking stupid, but it's interesting. I'm, I'm kind of glad we segued into this from Mike. I'm glad I didn't ask my question. What, what was your question going to be? I'm curious, I, though. I was going to ask who would win... Voltron or Godzilla, but you know, nobody wants it. No, that's stupid, though. That seems, yeah. Wait, that's a silly question. Who would win? Godzilla 2014 versus Here? Voltron 1985. Here's the real question. What? The real question everybody wants to know. <clears throat> Who would win in a fight between uh, Godzilla and Zack's fat ass mom? Uh my mom would push her, push guys all over. Is your mom fat? No, she's pretty good. She's jogs every day. Really? She yeah. milf? I don't give a shit. Fuck you! <laughs> who would win? Terminator? Yeah. Or Robocop? Actually, who do you think would win? Terminator. Why? Yeah, probably Terminator. Also, I think the biggest factor in this is motivation. I think Robocop would win if Terminator fucking stabbed his family in the face or something. Because the Terminator doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel pity or remorse. Listen, listen, listen. And he won't stop until I, you're dead, man. Stamper, stamper. What? All I'm saying is, no, I think I think if Robocop bumped into the Terminator while he was trying to chase John well, like Connor. Just yeah, but, yeah, get the fuck, yeah. I think I think Robocop would win. Boy. But I think if I think if Terminator was designed to kill Robocop, I think Terminator would win. I think that's the difference is is who had the better motivation. If he shot Robocop in the eye, he'd be dead. Yeah, but he'd be like the boy and push him over. Alright, look. Robocop doesn't have like superhuman fucking amazing strength. Nobody right? took all like a thousand bullets in that drug warehouse scene. Yeah, but a bunch of dudes yeah. cut him apart with a chainsaw in part two. But yeah, those guys just held him down. He was yeah. like, oh, oh he was like, goodness. <laughs> and then he was cut apart. Part. Ro pa part two. Yeah. He took so it's, much shit in Terminator 2. Part 2 is canon, I'm just saying. Canon. Terminator 2, in Terminator 2, he took so much shit, by the end of it, he was still fine. Okay, Terminator, Terminator 1 versus Robocop 1. No, no sequels, only those two. Let's say the sequels... Oh, now you're sequel. changing the rules. No. This is the same no. Robocop and the same no. Terminator. Yeah, the same Robocop Terminator from Terminator 1. So let's say Terminator 1 was trying to kill Sarah Connor and Robocop just got in his fucking way. Yeah. It wasn't his motivation. Who you would know win? what? Only But but let's say Robocop saw Terminator fucking pull his family's head off of Robocop's family's head off. He would have the motivation to 
kill Terminator. You're on RoboCop's side. You're, this might, whole argument is biased. No, it is biased. Yes, you're, I you're, think you're, you're, you're basically saying RoboCop somehow gets like retard strength when he <laughs> no, gets upset. I'm saying if he has motivation, yeah. I, I think Terminator would win if, he, if Terminator's uh, target was RoboCop, but what, I don't think... What it, if the Terminator... Oh, so you're, you're saying that... I'm saying it depends on motivation. Yeah, he would, he would totally lose if, if he didn't motivation care. Motivation-wise, yeah. I didn't care about <laughs> whatever, get him away. But I think if RoboCop was like, get back here and fucking break his back. Yeah, but the Terminator has the most motivation of all. He really only has one thought yep. to kill. To kill. To, to terminate. kill Sarah Connor, Well, what Zach's saying is if that wasn't the case and it was his job to kill like, RoboCop, like, yeah. he would win. But that that argument doesn't make any sense because <laughs> if Jeff is beating my ass and I don't care, of course he's going to win. If I'm, It's vice versa. Of Jeff's course not I'm going to win. Jeff's not a Terminator. The Terminator would scan RoboCop and just see this stupid, soft... <laughs> human face and just aim his gun at it. Yeah, no, those little beacons no, would because, just like zoom into his little no, baby because face. Because they say they say that RoboCop they say RoboCop has like a metal skull and that's just like that's fake skin. Are you sure about it's not that? As really, yeah, it's not, as, it's, not, it's not like bones. Look, here's exactly what would happen. They try to do that in one of the movies or really series. They try to shoot RoboCop in the face. Ter- Terminator would be walking towards RoboCop and then RoboCop would be like freeze, creep. Terminator's not going to stop. RoboCop's going to keep shooting him and Terminator's still not going to stop and, and RoboCop's going to be like oh, well this is fucking weird because he's not dying and then by the, the time Terminator gets up to RoboCop within 30 seconds he would have pulled off all his arms and killed him. <laughs> it's that easy. Who would win? The T-1000 or Marty McFly? <laughs> Marty! <laughs> Dumbass! Drive, around, drive, drive circles around him. You know what would be interesting? Confusing. What? If the... Hear me out. What if the T-1000 held a, a flux capacitor in one arm That's and then wrapped himself around Marty like, like a suit, almost like a metal suit, and then ran up to 88 miles an hour? Would he time travel? Sorry, go back? Yeah. So you're saying the T with that was part of the time car? Yeah, like yeah. What if he? In, what if he like sort of insulated Marty? Like he almost like formed around him like a metal suit, and then ran as like Marty up to eight eight miles an hour. He could do that. I think. I think if the fact that he's metal, I think if he grab, if you just fucking hug the car, it would go back in time with him, right? Does he need to hug like a car yeah. battery too to power the flux capacitor? And also, what what's what's the is there like a radius around the car that goes back in time? Wait, like do bugs get trapped on the windshield? Do they go back in time too? Is there like a force field around the car, or is it just everything that's inside the car? So like, if the T one thousand slid into like the exhaust pipe, would he go back in time? I'd say yes. You would think so? I'd say yeah. What if what if a, it's what a good if a, chance? What if a cat got, was underneath the car inside the exhaust pipe? Would the cat go back in time? Apparently, the outside of the car gets really really cold. He probably wouldn't be able to get up to eighty miles eighty eight with a cat in the tailpipe. They sort of. What if it was like hanging at the bottom of the car like that? You remember Back to Future One where it, tr- when it reappeared, it was like yeah, it was, freezing cold, and they just sort of ignored that rule from that on. They're yeah, it was like, like, they never really did oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. There's fucking fire over the wheels. It was after really that. cool effect, and then they're just like, yeah, this is too much work. It was like ice cold. It's like, what? What is it hot, Doc? And it's, he's like, no, it's cold. Yeah. Yeah, I always thought that was pretty cool. Because when, you, when you're a kid, you're like, wow, why is it cold? Where'd he cold? go? Why is it cold? What happened? I what bet did, he went to what Alaska. Did he, what did he do in Alaska? What would he even do in Alaska? What do you think? Who, what? Uh, Doc Brown, what do you think he would do in Alaska? I don't know. That's the dumbest question you probably ever asked ever in the you history You said he was in Alaska. I don't know why he'd go to Alaska. I agree with Tampa. That's a terrible what, question. What, what, why did why'd you say Doc Brown goes to Alaska? Because the car was cold, dumbass. <laughs> why did he drive to Alaska? He'd go back, he'd go back any time he wants to. He goes to fucking Alaska where there's bears? Because Alaska's cold. He'd that. go back to 1850. He goes, he goes to see the uh, polar bears. Are you done? I'm done. <laughs> Are we done with this? <laughs> Who do you think would win the fight if aliens, if you went to Alaska and the aliens abducted Doc Brown? You think Doc Brown could kill the aliens? He's not really a, like a... If he fucking gouges their eyes out. Like their big black eyes? Yeah, he fucking sticks his thumbs inside of them before they can grab him. You can't do that because when aliens surround your bed, they, you're paralyzed for some reason. Yeah, he breaks out like the Hulk. He comes free and fucking gouges their eyes out. I think what Doc they do? Brown is pretty worthless, personally. Without his technology. Yeah. Wait, did he ever have a job before just being like a Yeah, he did. Wasn't he really rich he quit his job because he had his uh, he had the idea for the flux capacitor he was taking a shit or something? I don't know. No, he, he had a huge his, house. So he hit his head or something? Yeah, but he had a huge fucking house before all that. So yeah. where do you all get all his money from? Yeah, it was like a family thing or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's just some entitled shithead that... Maybe he was like a good... Maybe he did throw together some good inventions or something. I think that's what they say he did. He had like this spaghetti helmet that did yeah, some bullshit. Yeah, but it didn't work. Yeah, but my point is you get the idea that maybe he was a failed... That's true, I don't know. He was a I don't huge know. failure. Maybe he was a porn star. 
Well, if he could pull together the DeLorean, I'm sure he put something together. He probably was responsible for inventing, like, the electric mixer. Toaster or something, yeah. Maybe, yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, silly. It does feel like a family thing, though. It does feel like maybe he inherited the house and maybe he had rich parents or like something. Like Brown Manor or something like that? Yeah. He was pretty old, though, so maybe he just saved his money and he spent it He wasn't that old when that movie came out. What would you do if your son was going, was like, Bye, Dad, I'm going to go hang out with Doc Brown. And it's just like some old man. Who lives alone with his dog. Yeah. His clocks everywhere. What do you think they <laughs> met? That's, what that's if, creepy to think about. I don't, I don't what if, know. Yeah, what if you met an old man and you're just like, Hey, man, I re-, it's, he's like, what do you like? And you're like, I like, <laughs> what are you into? I, you're like, I like music. And then he builds, I all kinds he of music. builds a 12-foot speaker system for just you. Just for you. Yeah, that is very, like, pampering. <laughs> that's what you hear on Dr. Phil. Like, guys, like, buy their it's little like, victims. Marty. Xbox is what? Like, Xbox? Oh, what's it called? It's, like, conditioning? Yeah, conditioning and pampering them. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah use, conditioning them. You can use this anytime Hey, you can use this you anytime you want. Yeah, Come on here, over. Here's a key to my house. Like, like Whatever he wants. I couldn't, like, I didn't think that he built that for Marty. I just thought, I, when I was a kid, I thought Marty was a dick because he walked into Doc's house and over blew everything and destroyed his property. I was so like, wait, go apologize. Is that a different house than the house? The big in, house? Yeah. It just seems like it, yeah. Yeah, you know, he moves into a way smaller house. Oh, right, right. right. He, yeah. sells, he sells the house to do that. Oh, that's like a subtle thing that's, like, I guess he worked on the DeLorean for so long he couldn't afford his rent anymore. And he's got oh, that, yeah, for like 30 years. His house and the house in, like, Pee-wee's Playhouse, Pee-wee's Big Adventure are kind of similar in a way. He's, yeah. he's kind of got that breakfast, like, Rube Goldberg machine, too, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Am I yeah. Thinking, am I, that that, doesn't, but that, that doesn't work either. I think it's Back to the Future 3, right? <sighs> no, it it's opens in one. It, it's in the one where right? it's, it's not even for human, it's, no. it's to feed the dog. Do they not have a breakfast thing, though, in the 1800s where he fucking scrambles the eggs and makes the toast No, 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 I think that's that's like a throwback to the first one to show you that the movies are related. Oh, okay, I see. Because he had, like, burning coffee and shit like that that wasn't, yeah. it was clearly like Doc hasn't been home for a while. Okay. He's clearly like really shitty at what he does, <laughs> except for the one thing of a deep time travel. That yeah, was a pretty good idea. Yeah, he just fucking sits at home making things like an electric dog food can opener that feeds his dog that probably took him like two months to build, and then he's like, "Oh, and I guess I'm gonna make a t- then, time machine." And, and then he then he steals uh, plutonium from the uh, Iranians or whatever. Yeah, what, what is it? It's the Egyptians or Iranians no, or something? Egyptians. Oh my god! Yeah, it's come the, uh, on, it's uh, Libyans. Libyans, Libyans. Libyans. Yeah, they fucking shoot him to death. <laughs> and then you get. You're, you you wonder, you, like I think that's probably the one weird maybe part. It's just it, it, I watch it like. Well, where like, else is he gonna get it? It's, I don't know. From the government, maybe the government comes down with black helicopter. I don't know. You, but do you think they made they met even for such a doc fucking, and Marty? No, like Doc and the Libyans. I don't know. He goes to the Middle East, and it's like some some bizarre. I think the body really them. They give this scientist who who's never built a successful thing in his life plutonium to build a bomb, and, and if, he still if he did doesn't that now, build the, the government bomb. Would have he fails him, like, with that too. Yeah, he'd be on some kind of terrorist list now. Doc Brown would be. Yeah, yeah, and then <laughs> for as smart as he is, he he like lies to terrorists. <laughs> like, don't do that. You can't do that. He lies yeah. to terrorists, and they know where he lives too. They come with yeah. fucking screaming with AK forty sevens in the air. They even know he hangs out in the mall. Yeah, how they how they find him in the mall parking? Like, did they did they spy him or something? Recon, I guess. He's probably like, by the way, you can find me in the mall parking lot. But don't shoot me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how Doc and Marty even met to begin. It's like a weird Breaking Bad kind of situation. Maybe like, he was skateboarding down the street. He was like, "Get off my lawn!" And, and he's then, like, "You seem kind of cool." Yeah, come on in. You know, it's Marty. Here <laughs> so you go. There's the prequel. Are we that out of ideas that we have to look at our walls for inspiration? We're going to run out. We have literally three movie posters on the wall. Terminator did that. Back to the Future did that. We got Ghostbusters. Might as well just talk about that now. Let's talk about, let's talk about Ray and Egon and uh, (laughs) Winston. Let's have a Winston cast. Winston. Winston. uh, He has to be a Ghostbuster with a bunch of cis white males. Yeah, disgusting. (laughs) Ugh. Bunch of white guys busting ghosts? Wow, that's not... Bunch of white guys busting white ghosts? Yeah, wow. Well. About... Yeah, where's all the black ghosts at? Where's the 2014 ghosts? How come you never see a black ghost in a movie? You what? never you never see ghosts from... It's always like a white 
50 year old people from 1805 who oh. walked out with the just it's like in their dresses it's like man we were talking about this why is there like a black dude with a, like baggy pants and a hat like, hey, let's go. You know what I mean? he's there's, like a ghost with like a Sean John shirt yeah on. yeah there's never like anybody with a Pink Floyd t-shirt as a ghost walking around yeah and just to call back for a second when we were talking about Titan and it was a Titanic joke in Ghostbusters too yeah now if the, if it ever made like if it ever went to like Ghostbusters 13 would they have like like oh the, the Twin Towers are back and there's a bunch yeah. of ghosts running around oh yeah that was they really do that? Put, well, let's see. Maybe the 80, 84 is... minus 1911, 12, 13. So what is that, like, seven years? Yeah. So if we went to, like, year 20... 20... If it was, like, 2070 or 2080... 2070... Is, is that when... 2071. 9-11 is officially comedy material for people? Is what, it, is what's it, your cutoff? Like That South Park rule is, like, 23 years, makes something funny AIDS, becomes yeah. funny after 23 years. Yeah, I think it would take a little bit longer than 23 years. I figured the Titanic just became funny after, um... After everyone who was alive during it died for the most part? Essentially, yeah. Because then you're not hurting feelings anymore. Is a sinking ship just inherently funny? Is that, is that funnier than <laughs> I guess it is kind of funny. or something? What is the most fucked up thing that you legitimately find funny? That I... That's hard. Like, you mean that I think is inherently funny? Yeah. For me, it's uh, people getting stoned to death. Cause it's, I'm okay, horrified I see. by that. Because it's like you're sitting in the middle of this ring. Nobody else cut. agrees with me, but you're sitting in this middle of this... <laughs> Group of people. And there's other more effective ways to kill you, right? But they're just finding whatever rocks they can. They're trying to find good rocks. And they just hit all you right. with rocks. And there's kids and they throw Four really rocks with weak. people. I, I, all right, I'll, I'll say somebody getting pulled into a wood chipper is kind of funny to me. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> that is just horrible. I mean, come on now. Face first or feet first? Face first is the only way to go. I haven't, I haven't had this joke in one of my cartoons. Like, if you get ran over by a tank, would put me more fucked up going, like, feet first or head first. Feet I'd, first. I'd rather if go you head went, first. If you went feet first, you'd hear him screaming all the way to the, to the head. I saw this video. But, this is not funny. I think this is probably the funny. Did you, have either of you guys watched Venture Brothers? Uh, I've seen a couple of episodes. There's one episode. It's, like, season one. It's a really early one. Or season two. Where there's, like, basically, the whole joke is, like, the hopes of this dude screaming in pain. He's some ghost. They put him to rest. But there's a video I saw of this dude who lit himself on fire and then regretted it and it's fucking screaming just like that and he's like screaming and running down a hallway on fire and it's not funny but it's I, I laughed at it because it reminded me of that but it was in a cartoon but it wasn't meant to be funny no well the cartoon was supposed to be funny but in real life a guy lit himself on fire oh. and regretted it and it was like screaming down and running on fire all like Buddhist style tried to yeah look. but he, he was like oh shit no I don't want it and he's, you know, <laughs> I don't think anything to do with fire is funny is funny to me I think people people with big tumor people with big fucking we were talking about the Harlequin fetus is pretty funny jelly bean eyes you were saying jelly bean alright guilty as charged Je you, you like the jelly bean I eyes I did find the Harlequin syndrome thing funny jelly bean eyes he called them jelly bean eyes <laughs> It's the place you ever all week. Well, <laughs> jelly beans. I still remember when he made that arcade stick design where, like, the buttons were like... Oh, no, I made that. Yeah. Never mind. I made, I made an arcade stick design <laughs> where, like, the two red buttons in the middle were, like, the Harlequin eyes. People had the dumbest fucking arcade <coughs> stick designs. I actually but, uh, heard that, um, when you light yourself on fire, that, um... Your pain, like your pain receptors, cut off faster than you think because well, you're burning through your nerve endings. I, I think, I think probably the screaming would be also psychological because you're watching your fucking skin melt and see your, you know, feel your eyes. Well, not your if head. you're sitting like a Buddhist with your <coughs> eyes closed praying. I would die. They, they also say that your eyes melt and your brains melt out of your nose. So, that, so like, and then some, <laughs> and then something about inhaling nothing but smoke while you're sitting there. Oh, is, that sounds horrible. It's probably gonna get you faster ah, than you think too. I would let Egyptians pull my brain out of my nose with fish hooks before. I allowed that I would not what do you think the worst way to, to die would be that you would like regret well, well I don't think I'd be around to regret it but I mean, what, not regret sorry what's the worst thing that you'd be afraid of encountering that would be horrible to you Oh, you know what? Um, probably something that's simple. Like, if I was floating around in the middle of the ocean, and, ocean. I, and there's a fucking shark, you just see him. And the whole time you're waiting for him, because you know he's coming for you, and he's just fucking with you. And he's just swimming around Taking bites circle. off, too. Like, yeah, taking little love bites off your feet and stuff. And you know you're fucked, because you're in the middle of the damn ocean. And then the question's like, well, do I stick my head under and hope he bites it off, or do I wait to fucking eat me in half? Do I do that thing where I punch him in the face and stab his eyes out? Why? So his friends can come yeah. and take revenge? <laughs> And also, if he bites your leg off, you're sitting there screaming, and you're just kind of waiting. What if he bites it and he goes, eh, I don't like it, and he goes away? Now you're bleeding out in the fucking ocean. Yeah. And you don't know what else is going to Why is he going to bite me and go, eh, I don't uh, know, what? Just, uh, just testing it. What if you were out on a safari, and all of a sudden a hungry lion saw you? 
and there was one big rock in the middle of like nowhere and it was just you on one side and him on the other and it's just this game it. of running of trying to stay on the other side of the rock from this fucking hungry line and this just went on for hours and hours and hours I'll tell you what I would scream but I'd go like a fucking like a crazy <laughs> and scream but hopefully he'd think, he, hopefully he's like yeah I don't want to deal with this guy oh you'd open your shirt up and <laughs> start, like, <laughs> he's he's like, somehow find you out yeah. appetizing yeah yeah <laughs> And he would just stare at me and fucking kill me anyways, but, but I would give it a try. I'd lift my shirt up and he'd see my gross titties see and he'd, fat, he'd be, be like, like and run away. He'd get a big wrench and show it to him. I'd be like, like the, you like this lion? Be like, you like it? Head it the other way. But he'd, he'd get so jealous that he would just... He'd look like, at his own dick and cover his legs up and his, then walk away. His head just cocks to the side and he's just looking at me. Well, yeah, he just kind I'll of tell you the worst death would be, be like if you go go to Mexico or go to some part in Iraq and be beheaded by these... Oh, that'd be the worst way to die, I think. Well, they don't just chop your head off. They sit and saw it. And it's fucking gross. Yeah, they do. Sometimes too, they cut only the throat, so your spine's still attached to your skull, or, like conscious. Or they give a knife to like a ten-year-old, and they're like, and then there's oh. ten. Oh man, I saw a video of that. The kid was like, oh, I can't cut it. Yeah. He's like, oh, it's like, like dad teach you son to you know, cut the steak. He's coming there teaching you son how to use the dull blade to fuck. Change the conversation. I, there's two videos. There's <laughs> two brands of videos that I I refuse to watch. I don't care if there's if there's a prize at the end for a billion dollars. I don't watch beheading videos, and I don't watch. Videos Let, where animals. Animals, I don't watch. I, I, I no. I Let's can't watch animals. Why don't, why don't Stamp and I? Why don't we discuss the most disturbing video you ever sent me? Okay. Do you know, which, do you know which one it was? The one with the goldfish. Yes. <laughs> the goldfish video. What's the, the gold, gold, what's the goldfish video? I barely remember that video. <laughs> And fish don't count as animals. Oh my god! What's the goldfish video? He said, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can recall no, it. Don't, oh yeah, it was good. To, okay. Stamper can fill in any gaps. So basically, it was this weird, almost like a weird porno in a way. But this woman, I don't think anyone was fucking though. Yeah, it was just more like a sexual atmosphere. This woman's wearing like a a lycra or spandex suit. And I think there were two phases. One was she was dumping live goldfish into her suit, and people were slowly. This dude was like taking his time, <laughs> pinching, slowly pinching the goldfish to death through the suit. Like they were all pressed up against her suit. Yeah, yeah, you could see him wiggling. He just slowly crushed them with his fingers, like one by <laughs> one. And then, then for some reason, they threw a bunch of them in a food processor alive, oh blended God. them up, and then dumped all that into her suit too. She like blended it really and slow. She, she was, kept tapping the button. Yeah. They're like really, yeah, like. Vroom. Yeah, that video was fucking weird, and I can't find it. Yeah, I can't. I've looked. Not that actually. I want to. <laughs> I, every every year, I do like a five minute Google search, see if I can find it, and I can't. I'm kind of glad though. It's like a relief. I'm like, all right, I can't. Do find you type it. in what happens? Do you type in guy pitches goldfish in spandex? <laughs> yes, suit? I type every. I type yeah, like spandex suit pinched goldfish food processor. Nothing ever comes up. You say blender. Blender. Yeah, it's, it's maybe like, that's it. Maybe it's a latex body suit. Maybe because it's a Japanese video. Crazy or Japanese people. Guy Jean was. It's probably in some weird language, some un English language, the worst kinds. Yeah. You're going to talk yourself out with the racist jokes. <laughs> I didn't do any too many. I just, I just said. Somebody's going to, like, when we're up to, like, episode 50, somebody's going to go back and cut out every, every our... Hitler line Zach says. It's going to be, like, three hours long. Yeah, I only brought up Hitler once when I asked if you could fight the Hulk. <laughs> episode... I, think, I think it's a pretty reasonable question. Episode three, we're going to have a dead spot, and it's going to be like, uh, who would win in a battle between? Hitler and uh, Superman. Superman. Everyone's gonna be like, "What is Zach's problem?" <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the last thing we were talking about? Goldfish being pinched to death in a suit. Oh yeah, yeah, that sucked. <laughs> Next. <laughs> so, looking at Newgrounds, any crazy stories? Nah. Any wacky story? We should save that one for another day. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. Because, because we all go to, you know. All I remember is just, it's like completely actually unrelated to the company. It's just more, like I was saying to Zach earlier, like the letter you wrote to the, uh, that, uh. Text. To the, like the insur- like the, insur- the, uh, the, uh, like 401k guy. Oh, yeah. Say his family should die. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty funny. In a fire, in a fire, in a car, in a fire. Alive, they should burn to death alive. And yeah. I think there's a clip in there, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he wrote Tom. He's really upset about it. <laughs> you said he said he couldn't sleep for one night or something? something or he said he, he was like, he's like he, I think he accused Stamper of like needing some kind of psychological help or something. Yeah, he's, oh, he said something like... All because you weren't paying fucking attention in the meeting. You didn't remember giving him your fucking email. And you thought he was just like a spam, spam, spamming you. No, see, nobody believes me. I knew who he was. When he sent me, he kept, 
if you think that I didn't know who he was, and that assumes that I respond to every spam message I get from everybody. So you okay? You intentionally so you weren't told incompetent. This. You were, you're just a really mean person. <laughs> I guess you could say that. I just, I don't like that guy. I think he's a fucking asshole. Then why'd you give him your email? Because it was the first thing we had to fill out. And I was like, well, you, you, I was you really... You tick those so they don't show up. They can go straight And I was the really psyched to get the whole 401k thing started. And then I just felt like an idiot the whole fucking I mean, time. And I wasn't getting any help from that fucking words that I can't say right now. Wow. What, what words? But yeah, he said something like... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I think somebody on your staff is unstable or something like that. <laughs> and I still don't have a fucking 401k. Probably it's, not gonna get I'll one I'll tell now. you why it's so fucking awkward. It's because my my parents used the guy for some of their finances. And it's like, I'm in, I'm afraid to ever see him, look at him, say new grounds, say, you know. I'm afraid like he's going to be like, oh shit, you're, a, that you're the parents of one of those guys. I'll go kill myself now. <laughs> We talked a lot about suicide and death so far. Yeah. This is a pretty bleak podcast. Everyone's going to be psyched like, oh, wow, I wonder what they're talking about. <laughs> death, just right suicide, right catch you before, right before they fall asleep, space. they got to listen to this. Yeah. Hitler, popples, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Transformers, the Hulk. A Harlequin syndrome. Harlequin fetus. Goldfish being killed. You have to you have to have like a positive, something positive to wrap it all up with. Fuck this skeleton. Yeah, Zach. How do how do we how do we end this on a positive note? Hey, let me do it. Let me, I'll I'll answer for Zach. Uh, uh what what was uh, Hitler's favorite pizza toppings? Uh, Jew. Don't say. <laughs> Dead Jews. <laughs> the ashes of millions of Jews. Uh, uh I don't know. You olives? can't fit the ashes of millions olives? of Jews on olives. I don't know. A pizza. I guarantee you, fucking Hitler would have liked olives on his pizza. Probably. Yeah. He seems like an olive guy. Maybe he was just a vegetarian. Maybe. Oh, I think he. I think he was though. Actually, I don't. I don't think he would have liked Jew meat. Right? Is that offensive to say Jew meat? Jew meat? No, that's what everyone says. Sounds like a username. <laughs> that's yeah, a common. Jew meat oh five. Jew meat. Oh, Jew meat oh one. Because like Jew meat was taken. I don't know. I don't know how it worked exactly, but the Nazis hated everybody who wasn't. Or no, did, like I guess. I mean, I'm, they specifically like, Jews were definitely a scapegoat, but yeah, like gays and cripples and. Well, no, like did they hate Italians, for example? Everyone hates Italians. Well, <laughs> <laughs> like would Hitler eat pizza? Is what I'm saying. Ju- uh, what do you mean? Like he? Like do you think he wouldn't eat pizza because he doesn't like Italians? Yeah. Yes, I do. Maybe, what, I don't know. What do you think he did like? German food? Just, yeah. Just brat, bratwurst and uh, sauerkraut? That's probably why he's so pissed all the time, uh, eating cabbage and he sausage. Had, he had, like, edible bowel or something. He had some kind of weird intestinal thing. How weird. do you know all this shit about Hitler? I don't. I made that up. Oh. Don't look it up. <laughs> it's, it sounds like he would, though. <laughs> Sex, like I don't like Hitler, and that every time we ask him something, there's like some faction, like really. I don't like Hitler, especially since 1905, when he was 10 years old. He, he seemed, yeah, well, it all began. <laughs> it all began in a small cabin in the middle of the woods. But I'm not. I don't like him, though. I just. I don't like him, even though he's handsome and strong, and he took out the Jews. <laughs> he had good goals. You're like when but, you when you come up with lies for Hitler, they're like within the realm of reason. You you be, you just say something like Hitler he had a big grow toenail. It's fucking he, he, weird, he was right? kind, he was kind of. Handsome some fella without his uh, mustache. Yeah. It sucks it, he kind of ruined it, he though. He decided to look silly. He ruined that mustache for everybody. Yeah, no yeah. one has the Hitler mustache anymore. Do you, think, do you think if he had, like, a, like a handlebar mustache, people would have that anymore? You gotta be pretty fucked up to ruin an entire... Facial... Hairstyle. Yeah. I always... Friends of mine and I, I think I think somebody's done this joke by now. But yeah, we'd always talk about like, what if some, what if just some guy in America named like John Hitler, and he would just show up and he'd be, like, hey, I'm John Hitler, and everyone's like, that's not funny. Yeah, they just they're my really, grandfather just really is a survivor. My grandfather was Hitler. Stop but it. I've I've Googled it. There's actually are people in this country with the last name Hitler, and they that's just gotta be a rough day for name. a job. Any kind of interview. You think that the family name would they just start changing that shit? I would believe it. Change it when they was so. like fuck. In Heinrich Hitler, I would I would assume that people uh, stopped using Adolf for their kids. Adolf it's, is pro- yeah, it's a great name though. I like it. I'm Adolf. willing to bet. I'm willing to bet there's a few thousand Adolfs out there. Adolf. 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 It's kind of like Rudolph. I always like the name Rudolph. Adolf it wasn't tied to that stupid fucking reindeer. Adolf the Riddler's reindeer. Hey, I'm gonna have a son and I'm gonna name him Rudolph Stamper and he's gonna get his ass beat every day. You know, if, if Hitler got a. If, if Hitler was a transsexual, he would probably call himself Adele Hitler. What the fuck are you talking about, Jeff? 
had that. He had, well, Hadel is German. Is it? He used to be Hodel. Hodel. Hello, I'm Zach Hodel. Hello, how are you? It's not even German. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> He's a retard. Hello, are you? That was Zach Hodel. Well, I'm German too. Yeah, I got a German last That doesn't mean too. I don't like Jews or anything. Zach. Yeah. Jews, Jews are A OK in my book. I just think their food kind of sucks. That's all. Oh, yeah. You ever had Noodle Kugel? <laughs> I hate Kugel. That shit is fucking interesting. To yeah. Say the least. <laughs> <laughs> and admittedly, I haven't had that much in the way of Jewish cuisine, and I'm sure there's a lot of tasty dishes out there, but man, Kugel is a travesty. It's, it's like egg noodles with gravy and fucking raisins yeah, in it. Yeah, raisins. And it's, you, you're eating it, and it's like, it doesn't work. It's like having a bowl of uh, cereal in the morning, right? But for some reason, some asshole put pickles in it. Like, it just, it's, it's like, good, but there's this over here. It's like shit in it that just doesn't make sense. I probably told you guys, like, my, my favorite episode of anything ever on the Food Network is one of those food challenge shows where this dude has to go prepare, like, a huge banquet me- feast for uh, a Jewish like, community center. Oh, this is the uh, pig dude, right? Yeah, and apparently, you know, he he's, like, struggling to, like, get all this kosher food, and he meets, like, the one Jewish person in charge, and he's like, yeah, this might be a problem, but, and he, like, pulls his, like, shirt collar down, and there's a tattoo of a bacon strip on his chest of the guy cooking the Jewish food like he loves bacon so much he loves he got a tattoo pork and of bacon. bacon yeah there's a tattoo of fucking bacon on him and he's just sitting there sweating I'm like oh boy I got like I think he's gonna they think they're gonna beat his ass or something I don't know it's just uh if you just say you used to be a cop and you got you up people used to I, call me a pig I, I will you record, I, think, uh, I think the kosher thing is extremely silly though you're oh yeah I got bacon tattooed on me because I used to be a cop and they used to call me a pig so I thought it was funny to embrace it's better that. to say I love bacon I like you fucking ugh, look at you you know you bacon ugh. the Jews aren't fucking Nazi Germans man it's not like they're gonna there are a couple Jews there are a couple Nazi Jews I know that's besides the point it's not like they're gonna two or three there are a couple look at you and be like oh you eat bacon fuck you fuck you okay, no hiss at you <laughs> yeah. I think he wanted to put like bacon and pork in all the recipes. That's why. Uh, oh, that's a bad idea. Yeah, I, I think- just, I just think, yeah, the whole kosher thing is weird. It, the biggest problem for me is that. If you have that little stamp on your package of food, it's like, oh, it's okay to eat. You know, it's governed by whatever. Yeah. But by King who, Jew, who's to say <laughs> King by King <laughs> by King Jew, King of the Jews? But like and with this... the crap that that comes out of factories, and she, you you tell me that like I'm sure a lot of kosher food is good, but I'm sure people have been in the rules because people are inherently fucking lazy. Really, oh, no, <laughs> they're really doing yeah, the whole no ritual way they have to like cut a cow's throat in the proper way. I keep no. I keep reading about these Hasidic Jew rabbis. Is like, do you read about that, Zach? When they um, the Hasidic Jews, when they you know when they circumcise babies, they'll oh, actually they suck the dick of the baby. Yeah, yeah, they'll suck the blood out with they their mouth and then give them the give them out. like a yeah. disease. With, yeah, they uh, get herpes and shit. And they brush their out. teeth first. I yeah, with the dick. I mean, the it gave me a huge hard on, but <laughs> <laughs> what? So they actually I mean, like nip the tip off and then suck, suck the it. blood out. Yeah. Okay. But then they give it gives them uh, herpes, babies herpes, and some die from it. How do you get hurt? Well, doesn't the, uh, the dude, the big dude who sucks the baby off, has herpes? Yeah, on his mouth, and he sucks the baby off. And well, he's he, not sucking the baby off. Oh yeah, he is. Kinda. Maybe I've he doesn't see it as a sexual thing, but he's sucking the baby is. out. Well, well, I guess the sexual view is playing with the kid's balls and stuff. Too. <laughs> yeah, he's like, this is tradition. <laughs> <laughs> the face of the tits. Which one? <laughs> I didn't know that. That's kind of, uh... It's fucked yeah. up. It's interesting. Creepy. I'm gonna stop reading stuff on the internet now. What? Uh, do you, are you guys... Do you guys... Yes, wish, I'm circumcised. Do you wish you were not circumcised, though? Uh, why did you assume that I was circumcised? Because you're an American. You're white, dude. You gotta be circumcised. <laughs> no, I'm not a fucking Joe. You're a privileged A lot of, ca- a lot of Christians are, though. I think most people in America are, yeah, are circumcised. Yeah, like, like, yeah it's the minority. Or important. most males, at least, yeah. Yeah. What about you, Jeff? You cut? You fucking um, I am you fucking cut. cut? And I got, uh, I got baptized with the magic water, and I, I got the whole deal. I got this theory that if you draw, like, wieners for Flash cartoons, or if you draw, like, dicks in general, I'm boards or whatever the dick you draw on the board is pretty much what yours looks like every now and again you'll see a guy draw like a weird yam and you're like oh so he's he's uncut there yeah Yeah, stamper draws the best cut dicks ever (laughs) 
That's because I look at mine all the time. I don't know how you draw them so well. It's like you're, they're just so three dimensional. Even like the veins are. They make yeah, you drew it earlier. The Ninja Turtle one you drew get this, pretty fucking. Not to make this hot or anything. Yeah, you're making me horny, dude. <laughs> Stop. Now I like to think about just, his penis. <laughs> making my mouth water. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of gay, but I'm like envious how well you draw dicks. You know what the sad part is? What? This is probably the thing that I could draw the best. I could, like, like if people you'd, captured you and you, they're like, draw the best dick you can, they'd be like, oh. I'd be like, oh yeah, so if you draw the best dick you can, I'm gonna kill your family. I'd be like, there you go, and there you go. And I'd just, I'd be like a Did dick like, factory. I'd just be throwing them out. But then if he was like, draw Bart Simpson, I'd be like, oh god. <laughs> I could draw Bart Simpson's dick if you want. <laughs> Bart Simpson's little dick. <laughs> I'll be right back. I have to go pee pee with my ding dong. Good luck. I don't need luck. Where the hell did you get those pants anyway? I have Jesus on my side. Susie made them for me. Oh. They're comfortable as shit. They look comfortable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and there's a little heart on the butt. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> so that we didn't we didn't have a topic this so we just started talking. Zach. Yo. What is going on with science? This week, uh, they discovered a guy who could run really fast. Was he a white cis male? He was a, a white cis male. White cis male. Yes, and, and you With know these running, fat, running tumbler, disgusting fat tumbler people <laughs> tried to chase him down and stop him, but, but they disgusting. But their genetics monsters. prevented them from running after him because their genetics, you know, stopped them from yeah. chasing this guy. Yeah, and they all died of heart attacks from running two feet. <clears throat> Instead of instead of discussing politics, we should just have our like Tumblr news update. Made fun of Tumblr for two hours. Yeah, I can't <laughs> believe you introduced me to that world. Like, I was so happy before. I lived in a huge fucking rocket and showed you all the centipedes and roly polies. <sighs> I gotta I gotta look at human beings who tell you like what their fucking pronouns are now, and I gotta. <laughs> like they watch Die Hard, they're like, "Wow, Bruce Willis is a white guy. What a surprise!" They're they're actually mad. Straight people exist now. Straight white guys. Straight isn't good enough. Gay isn't good enough. You have to be some weird, a magical hybrid of several things to be the most special of all. I was born with a dick and balls, and I like the pussy. <laughs> I like the <a> pussy. <laughs> you almost went like Italian there. I like the pussy. <laughs> Uh, spiritually, I have, a, I have a majestic, uh, centipede. What's Those a cool animal? Centipede, Ken? <laughs> so you just feel, you feel male, female, and centipede. Yeah, I, I feel all my legs all over the place. I walk <laughs> on all 30 of my legs. All over you walk floor. through the mall on all fours and you get mad when people, like, look at you weird. They say, what are you doing, sir? And I say, sir, a centipede. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Unless you have problems. What is yeah. like a, is like having a spirit animal like a thing now? I guess it's a big thing, but it's not even a thing. It's like oh god, you, you, you identify with animals or something. I guess really. I can't, Stanford, I don't there's know a whole world you don't know about. And you're fucking lucky. There's a whole world I don't want to know about because I got my own problems, <laughs> it's, baby. It's a maddening. It's an infuriating look into. Jeff was happy. He used to walk into the. He used to skip into the office every day. And now I'm reading this shit daily, getting mad, losing were, my fucking mind. Nobody's twisting your arm. Why are you? Subject yourself to that shit. I get obsessed with yeah. infuriating people like Zach. It's fascinating though. You look at these people and you wonder how they exist. These goddamn Maybe they look at you and wonder how you exist. I don't give a fuck. These goddamn parents out there they don't give neglect a fuck. their child and he sits home all day on the computer and complain about how Robin Williams is a white yeah, guy and who turns into well, one of these horrible creatures. Horrible, privileged, <laughs> jobless. Entitled, selfish creatures. I'm so oppressed. When I was born into a family who makes two hundred thousand dollars a year, yeah, it paid my way through college. I saw a white homeless guy and said, "Check your privilege." <laughs> You fucking white asshole. Oh, is that what check your privilege means? Yes. Is that what C C Y C Y P means? C Y P. Does it? I don't know. I don't. I don't. Pay I'm so fucking sick and tired of anagrams. Every door, not anagrams. Uh, acronyms. I have to look up like what is T V T V. What the fuck? Like, oh, it means whatever. You know what I was looking up like a million fucking times is when people say S M H. Oh yes, I did that too. Smack my head, right? Or shake my head, or whatever. I, like, ever, you're so stupid, S M H. I never like, knew what, what that one was. Fuck is S M H? Yeah, I know. It really irritates me. You just fucking speak English. The only ones I know are... We just leave it out. The only one I actually use is like... I don't really use LOL that much. I guess LOL... I use LOL sarcastically. By the way, I use sometimes BTW. Sometimes, sometimes I do that. I've never used OMG. 
I like BRB guys. BRB is all right. Because when I get tired well. of talking to people, I'm just like BRB. And I oh, dude, back. BBL is a fucking lifesaver. BBL? Be back later. What yeah. is that? Be back later. Oh. It does, because be right That's back actually means, a really old one from like fucking 96. I'm surprised you haven't seen that one. Because Be Right Back means people are sitting there waiting for you, but if you say Be Back Later, they okay. Yeah, exactly. Well, go do whatever I want to. It's the I can get up and do not have to talk to you anymore for an extended period of time acronym. Well, BBL. All right, so we're going to get out of here for now. Uh, join us next time when we'll hopefully talk about more important shit. Bye! Sorry, I said that too loud. Bye! <laughs> I'm going back to the hell. <laughs> back to the hell? Shut up, Zach. God. Focus. Okay.